The Communist Party of Germany German, Kommunistische Partei Deutschlands, KPD, was a major political party in Germany between 1918 and 1933, and a minor party in West Germany in the post-war period until it was banned in 1956. Founded in the aftermath of the First World War by socialists opposed to the war, led by Rosa Luxemburg, after her death the party became gradually ever more committed to Leninism and later Stalinism. During the Weimar Republic period, the KPD usually polled between 10 and 15 percent of the vote and was represented in the Reichstag and in state parliaments. The party directed most of its attacks on the Social Democratic Party of Germany, which it considered its main opponent. Banned in Nazi Germany one day after Adolf Hitler emerged triumphant in the German elections in 1933, the KPD maintained an underground organization but suffered heavy losses. The party was revived in divided post-war West and East Germany and won seats in the first Bundestag West German Parliament elections in 1949, but its support collapsed following the establishment of a communist state in the Soviet occupation zone of Germany. In East Germany, the party was merged, by Soviet decree, with the Social Democratic Party to form the Socialist Unity Party which ruled East Germany until 1989–1990. After the fall of the Berlin Wall, the SED was renamed the Party of Democratic Socialism and subsequently merged into Die Link. The KPD was banned in West Germany in 1956 by the Constitutional Court. Some of its former members founded an even smaller fringe party, the German Communist Party in 1969, which remains legal, and multiple tiny splinter groups claiming to be the successor to the KPD have also subsequently been formed. Early history Before the First World War the Social Democratic Party was the largest party in Germany and the world's most successful socialist party. Although still officially claiming to be a Marxist party, by 1914 it had become in practice a reformist party. In 1914 the SPD members of the Reichstag voted in favor of the war. Left-wing members of the party, led by Karl Liebknecht and Rosa Luxemburg, strongly opposed the war, and the SPD soon suffered a split, with the leftists forming the Independent Social Democratic Party of Germany and the more radical Spartacist League. In November 1918, revolution broke out across Germany. The leftists, led by Rosa Luxemburg and the Spartacist League, formed the KPD at a founding congress held in Berlin in the 30th of December 1918 to the 1st of January 1919 in the reception hall of the city council. Apart from the Spartacists, another dissent group of socialists called the International Communists of Germany, also dissenting members of the Social Democratic Party, but mainly located in Hamburg, Bremen, and northern Germany, joined the Young Party. The Revolutionary Shop Stewards, a network of dissenting socialist trade unionists centered in Berlin were also invited to the Congress, but eventually did not join the party because they deemed the founding Congress leaning into a syndicalist direction. There were seven main reports given at the founding Congress. Economical Struggles — by Paul Lang Greeting Speech — by Karl Roddick International Conferences — by Hermann Dunker Our Organization by Hugo Eberlein Our Program — by Rosa Luxemburg The Crisis of the USPD — by Karl Liebknecht The National Assembly — by Paul Levithy's reports were given by leading figures of the Spartacus League, however members of the Internationale Kommunisten Deutschlands also took part in the discussions Under the leadership of Liebknecht and Luxemburg, the KPD was committed to a revolution in Germany, and during 1919 and 1920 attempts to seize control of the government continued. Germany's social democratic government, which had come to power after the fall of the monarchy, was vehemently opposed to the KPD's idea of socialism. With the new regime terrified of a Bolshevik revolution in Germany, Defense Minister Gustav Nosk formed a series of anti-communist paramilitary groups, dubbed Freikorps out of demobilized World War I veterans. During the failed Spartacist uprising in Berlin of January 1919, Liebknecht and Luxembourg, who had not initiated the uprising but joined once it had begun, were captured by the Freikorps and murdered. The party split a few months later into two factions, the KPD and the Communist Workers' Party of Germany KAPD. Following the assassination of Leo Jogisches, Paul Levi became the KPD leader. 
Other prominent members included Clara Zetkin, Paul Froelich, Hugo Eberlein, Franz Mehring, August Thalheimer, and Ernst Meyer. Levi led the party away from the policy of immediate revolution, in an effort to win over SPD and USPD voters and trade union officials. These efforts were rewarded when a substantial section of the USPD joined the KPD, making it a mass party for the first time. Through the 1920s the KPD was racked by internal conflict between more and less radical factions, partly reflecting the power struggles between Zinoviev and Stalin in Moscow. Germany was seen as being of central importance to the struggle for socialism, and the failure of the German Revolution was a major setback. Eventually Levi was expelled in 1921 by the Comintern for indiscipline. Further leadership changes took place in the 1920s. Supporters of the left or right opposition to the Stalin-controlled Comintern leadership were expelled. Of these, Heinrich Brandler, August Thalheimer and Paul Froelich set up a splinter Communist Party opposition. Weimar Republic years A new KPD leadership more favorable to the Soviet Union was elected in 1923. This leadership, headed by Ernst Thalmann, abandoned the goal of immediate revolution, and from 1924 onwards contested Reichstag elections, with some success. During the years of the Weimar Republic the KPD was the largest communist party in Europe and was seen as the leading party of the communist movement outside the Soviet Union. It maintained a solid electoral performance, usually polling more than 10% of the vote and gaining 100 deputies in the November 1932 elections. In the presidential election of the same year, Thalmann took 13.2% of the vote, compared to Hitler's 30.1%. Critics of the KPD accused it of having pursued a sectarian policy, e.g. the Social Democratic Party criticized the KPD's thesis of social fascism, which addressed the SPD as the communists' main enemy. This scuttled any possibility of a united front with the SPD against the rising power of the National Socialists. These allegations were repudiated by supporters of the KPD as it was said the right-wing leadership of the SPD rejected the proposals of the KPD to unite for the defeat of fascism. The SPD leaders were accused of having countered KPD efforts to form a united front of the working class. For instance, after Papen's government carried out a coup d'état in Prussia the KPD called for a general strike and turned to the SPD leadership for joint struggle, but the SPD leaders again refused to cooperate with the KPD. <inaudible> <inaudible> Nazi era Soon after the appointment of Adolf Hitler as Chancellor, the Reichstag was set on fire and Dutch Council Communist Marinus van der Lubbe was found near the building. The Nazis publicly blamed the fire on communist agitators in general, although in a German court in 1933, it was decided that van der Lubbe had acted alone, as he claimed to have done. After the fire, the Reichstag fire decree was passed. Repression beginning within hours after the fire, when police arrested dozens of communists. Although Hitler could have formally banned the KPD, courts treated KPD membership as an act of treason, since most judges held the KPD responsible for the fire. At the March 1933 election, the KPD elected 81 deputies. However, it was an open secret that they would never be allowed to take office, they were all arrested in short order. For all intents and purposes, the KPD was banned as of 6 March, the day after the election, the KPD was efficiently suppressed by the Nazis. The most senior KPD leaders were Wilhelm Pieck and Walter Ulbricht, who went into exile in the Soviet Union. The KPD maintained an underground organization in Germany throughout the Nazi period, but the loss of many core members severely weakened the party's infrastructure. <laughs> <laughs> Purge of 1937 A number of senior KPD leaders in exile were caught up in Joseph Stalin's Great Purge of 1937–38 and executed, among them Eberlein, Heinz Neumann, Hermann Remele, Fritz Schulte and Hermann Schubert, or sent to the Gulag, like Marguerite Buber Neumann. Still others, like Gustav von Wangenheim and Erich Milke, denounced their fellow exiles to the NKVD. Willy Munzenberg, the KPD's propaganda chief, was murdered in mysterious circumstances in France in 1940. 
The NKVD is believed to have been responsible. Post-war history In East Germany, the Soviet occupation authorities forced the eastern branch of the SPD to merge with the KPD led by Peek and Ulbricht to form the Socialist Unity Party in April 1946. Although nominally a union of equals, the SED quickly fell under communist domination, and most of the more recalcitrant members from the SPD side of the merger were pushed out in short order. By the time of the formal formation of the East German state in 1949, the SED was a full-fledged communist party, and developed along lines similar to other Soviet bloc communist parties. It was the ruling party in East Germany from its formation in 1949 until 1989. The SPD managed to preserve its independence in Berlin, forcing the SED to form a small branch in West Berlin, the Socialist Unity Party of West Berlin. The KPD reorganized in the western part of Germany, and received 5.7% of the vote in the first Bundestag election in 1949. But the onset of the Cold War and imposition of an undisguised communist dictatorship in East Germany soon caused a collapse in the party's support. At the 1953 election the KPD only won 2.2% of the total votes and lost all of its seats, never to return. The party was banned in August 1956 by the Federal Constitutional Court of Germany. The ban was due to the aggressive and combative methods that the party used as a Marxist-Leninist party struggle to achieve their goals. After the party was declared illegal, many of its members continued to function clandestinely despite increased government surveillance. Part of its membership refounded the party in 1968 as the German Communist Party DKP. Following German reunification many DKP members joined the new Party of Democratic Socialism, formed out of the remains of the SED. In 1968, a self-named, true successor, to the banned West German KPD was formed, the KPD, ML, Marxist-Leninist, which followed Maoist ideas. It went through multiple splits and united with a Trotskyist group in 1986 to form the Unified Socialist Party VSP, which failed to gain any influence and dissolved in the early 1990s. However, multiple tiny splinter groups originating in the KPD, ML still exist, several of which claim the name of KPD. Another party with this name was formed in 1990 in East Berlin by several hardline communists who had been expelled from the PDS, including Erich Honecker. The KPD Bolshevik split off from the East German KPD in 2005 bringing the total number of more or less active KPDs to at least 5 the left formed out of a merger between the PDS and Labour and Social Justice the Electoral Alternative in 2007 claims to be the historical successor of the KPD by way of the PDS topic <laughs> organization In the early 1920s, the party operated under the principle of democratic centralism, whereby the leading body of the party was the Congress, meeting at least once a year. Between Congresses, leadership of the party resided in the Central Committee, which was elected at Congress, of one group of people who had to live where the leadership was resident and formed the Central and others nominated from the districts they represented but also elected at the Congress who represented the wider party. Elected figures were subject to recall by the bodies that elected them. The KPD employed around about 200 full timers during its early years of existence, and as Brew notes, they received the pay of an average skilled worker, and had no privileges, apart from being the first to be arrested, prosecuted, and sentenced, and when shooting started, to be the first to fall. <laughs> Election results Federal elections Presidential elections See also Communist Party opposition Communist Workers' Party of Germany Phrase Volk German resistance 
German Revolution of 1918–1919 Hotel Lux, Moscow Hotel where many German party members lived in exile Luxembourgism Revolutionary trade union opposition Rosa Luxemburg, Karl Liebknecht, Paul Levi, Eric Milkey, Richard Muller Socialist Rotfrontkampfverband Socialist Workers' Party of Germany Spartacus League Union of Manual and Intellectual Workers Footnotes Topic further reading Rudolf Koper, Failure of a Revolution, Germany in 1918-1919. Cambridge, England, Cambridge University Press, 1955. Catherine Epstein, The Last Revolutionaries, German Communists and Their Century. Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University Press, 2003. Ruth Fisher, Stalin and German Communism. Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University Press, 1948. Ben Fawkes, Communism in Germany under the Weimar Republic, London, Palgrave Macmillan 1984. John Riddell, ed., The German Revolution and the Debate on Soviet Power, Documents, 1918-1919, Preparing the Founding Congress. New York, Pathfinder Press, 1986. Bill Pels, The Spartacusbund and the German Working Class Movement, 1914-1919, Lewiston, N.Y., E. Mellon Press, 1988. Alexander Vatlin, The Testing Ground of World Revolution, Germany in the 1920s, in Tim Rees and Andrew Thorpe eds, International Communism and the Communist International, 1919–43. Manchester, Manchester University Press, 1998. Eric D. White's, Creating German Communism, 1890–1990, From Popular Protests to Socialist State. Princeton, N.J., Princeton University Press, 1997 David Priestand, Red Flag, A History of Communism, New York, Grove Press, 2009 Ralph Hofrog, Norman Laporte eds, Weimar Communism as Mass Movement 1918-1933, London, Lawrence and Wishart. <laughs> 